Hi everyone, welcome to a new devlog. In this episode, I have refined the crowd system and started working on the inventory. So let's get started. This week, I integrated the crouch and uncrouch functions that come by default with Unreal. The advantage of using these functions is they lower the camera position when you crouch and reduce the size of the capsule to be able to pass under low ceilings. And on the other hand, these functions update the isCrouch boolean variable. So you can use it in other places, like the animation blueprint to change the animations, which is very useful. The inventory is a quite complex system that is related to the equipment and skill system, since the idea is that the player can use different types of weapons and can develop the type of combat that he or she likes. For example, melee with sword or axe with shield, range with sword and firearm, etc. Before starting with the inventory, I had to redo the interactable system to be able to pick up and use different objects. The interaction system is quite basic. The objects have a collider. When they come in contact with the player, they highlight and show the name of the object. The highlight is quite simple, and there are many tutorials that explain how to do it. But in my case, I wanted to mask the player so that the outline is not seen over the player. Basically, the material is made with two tutorials, one about the material and the other one about the mask. I'll leave the links in the description in case you are interested. Maybe later I can make a tutorial on how to recreate the material if it's something that might interest you. Once the interaction system was recreated, I started to develop the inventory system. For the inventory, I followed a series of tutorials from Titanic Games. The tutorials are quite old, but the base is still very valid. Of the many tutorials I have seen on YouTube, I think it's the most complete. I have created a list of all necessary videos. I'll leave the link to the list in the description in case you want to take a look. The foundation for the inventory is already developed. As you can see, we can pick up different objects. The design is partially integrated, but the main functionalities are already there. On the right, you can see my debug system to see where the items are equipped. And the equipment system is partially developed too so we can equip and change weapons. But we still need to be able to see the characteristics of the items, make the characteristics affect the player, drop items, and unlock etc. of details, including support for controllers. I imagine it will take me a while to have these systems finished, but once I have this ready, the bulk of development will be almost ready, since the rest of the pending systems are not so complex, so progress should be much faster, which is very exciting. And that was all for this week. As always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe, and leave your comments if you have questions or suggestions. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great week.